action is out at Richmond. Brandon Jones had a good start to the day, running inside the top 10. Let's go back and see what happened. Contact with a couple of drivers involved, actually. It's a little nudge here off of turn four from Parker Retzlaff. You see him down into turn one. Oh, it looks front. like something broke. Maybe. Uh, I mean, gosh. There's something Is coming out. Yeah, coming there's out something there, coming out underneath wow. that car. And the car's yeah. behind him wrecked, so that would make sense why that might have happened. Oh, yeah, we can see a lot of fluid on the track now. Yeah, it looks like something yeah, like breaks in the left front. came off or something. Looks like, doesn't it look like it? Yes, yeah, I mean, that's it not smoke. That's fluid coming out from underneath the, the left front wheel of this car. Mentioned a couple of drivers involved, and we'll see who else slides into the picture. Oh, you see the cars behind oh, yeah. him spinning yep. into oil? 39 is Ryan Sieg. He was the one that we saw spinning. Jones is out of the car. Boy, he had had such a good start to the year last couple of weeks, some bobbles that will hurt them, no doubt. And prior to that, we had a great battle for the lead as Allgaier's trying to hold off Corey Heim, and the 26 is really good early. Yeah, Corey Heim did a textbook job getting a run up there in the second lane, crossing over Allgaier. Boom, clears him into one. Justin doesn't really fight that too much. He was a long ways to go, but great pass by Corey Heim right there. That's how it's done. Nice job, Corey. It was a great pass. Clean, too. Did get a report. It was a motor issue on the nine of Brandon Jones. Let's listen to their radio. Oh, I think it's the motor's locked up. Bad vibration. It's blowing smoke everywhere. But I can bring it to you, but it's definitely the motor. Now there's fire blowing out of it. Yeah, you don't usually see a lot of engine failures here at Richmond. It's uh, interesting. These short tracks generally are, are actually a little easier on the engine. You, you might run them some high RPM, but the loading, especially at Richmond, is a lot less than most tracks. But what you do see quite often is with the, the NASCAR seal rule, where you have to use engines over and over again, a lot of teams will use uh, engines that have a, a lot of miles on them, a lot of laps on them uh, at Richmond. So they'll reuse an engine here and hate to speculate on what happened, but uh, just not normal to see engine issues at Richmond, Joey. No. Definitely. Tough break for Brandon Jones. Second caution of the day, 29 to go, stage one. Engine problem for Brandon Jones and Ryan C caught up as well.